voice mirror. After these things I looked and I saw a door open in heaven. And the first voice that I heard like a trumpet speaking with me was one saying, Come up here and I will show you the things which must happen after this. Immediately I was in the spirit and look, there was a throne set in heaven. And one sitting on the throne looked like a jasper stone and a sardis. There was a rainbow around the throne like an emerald to look at. Around the throne were 24 thrones and on the throne were 24 elders sitting dressed in white garments with crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne came flashes of lightning sounds and thunders. And there were seven torches of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne was something like a sea of glass similar to crystal. In the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes before and behind. The first living creature was like a lion, and the second living creature like a calf, and the third living creature had a face like a man, and the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each of them having six wings, are full of eyes around and within. They have no rest day and night, saying, Holy, 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 holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaim with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed upon the book, and to lose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him who sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of orders which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by the blood of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels around and about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing, and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, had I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying, as with the voice of thunder, Come. And I looked, and suddenly there was a white horse. And he who sat on it had a bow, a crown was given to him, and he came forth conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come. Another came forth, a fairy red horse. To him who sat on it was given power to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. There was given to him a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Come. And I saw, and suddenly there was a black horse, and he who sat on it had a balance in his hand. I heard something like a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A measure of wheat for denarius, and three measures of barley for denarius. Do not damage the oil and the wine. With any luck, they won't hit anything. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the fourth living creature saying, Come. And I looked, and suddenly there was a pale horse, and he who sat on it, his name was Death. Hell followed with him, authority over one-fourth of the earth, to kill with the sword, with famine, with death, 
and by wild animals of the earth was given to him. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of the people who had been killed for the word of God and for the testimony which they had. They called out with a loud voice saying, How long, Master, the holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? A long white robe was given to each of them. They were told that they should rest yet for a little longer until their fellow servants and their brothers, who would also be killed even as they were, should complete their course. I saw when he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth made of hair, and the whole moon became as blood. The stars of the sky fell on the earth, like a fig tree dropping its unripe figs when it is shaken by a great wind. The sky was removed like a scroll when it is rolled up. Every mountain and island were moved out of their places. The kings of the earth, the princes, the commanding officers, the rich, the strong, and every slave and free person hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains. They told the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hid us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand?' 